what's yeah. up? <laughs> Let me get up here. I'm good. Whew. Hello, Miss Heidi. Hello, Miss Maria. What's up? Hello. Hey. Hello. Hey. <laughs> so it looks like things are getting a whole lot more stupider for. <laughs> stupider. Okay. I mean, this is, you know, Officer Karen. Uh, on the scene and reporting, it's getting a whole lot more stupider between Tariq and Hazel. Uh, you know, and they've they've had their stunts before, like every other cast member has. Like you know, even I've had a stunt with Cody on social media once. So you know, we've all fallen prey to it. Um, <laughs> but you know, this is like you know round number four. But like, I kind of feel like it's like serious this time. Oh, she's not even in the same state. She's with people he doesn't know. Doesn't it sound like Paul and Karini? Paul Karini. Yes. I was like, I was like, oh my God, wouldn't it be some shit if if uh what's her name? Um the Asian Angelina Jolie is in the same safe oh, house that, Car- that the safe the safe house that Karini was in uh back when Karini jumped state lines and took the kids and ran. Like I'm like, wouldn't that wouldn't that be some full circle type nonsense right there? And guess what I just did yesterday? I started following both of them again because I got rid of both of them. And now oh, I, I'm following them again. <laughs> I won't follow anybody who doesn't follow anybody else. Like, you know, you're not Jesus. I'm like, you, you know. <laughs> well, like, for a minute, for a minute yesterday, Tariq was following Minty, but then it was back to following nobody. So... <laughs> Well, no, we're, we're going to get Mincy. Thank you for that good segue, because we're going to get Mincy okay. in this conversation. It's, it's going to get like we're going to open up that box of secrets. We're gonna we're gonna get the minciness out. We're gonna see what's happening there because Tariq don't know who to follow. It's either Mincy or Jesus or no one or himself. Um, we're gonna get Mincy, let's see who's here. Digital Pen, hello, mm. oh, hello, Ladonna. Miss LaDonna Backwood. That's like a Blackwood. Ooh. It's like, you know, ooh, hibbity bibbity. Oh, Miss Blackwood. Well, <laughs> I have a cousin school. named LaDonna. Okay. I like it. Ooh, Miss, everybody welcome Miss Blackwood to the membership. What the, is the going membership. on with this hibbity bibbity? You got me doing that. <laughs> Can champagne. we make that? Can make we sure Miss Blackwood emojis? gets the champagne twisties. Okay. Um, we, we want a hibbity dibbity emoji. Hibbity bibbity. I have to all right, I have to get new emojis and um I do. Uh for because you know you only can do it at certain points. So yep, I think I, I've had the membership for like a certain amount, so now you could add to it. Yep. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna come up with some some new stuff. Hibbity bibbity will definitely be on there. Ooh, hibbity bibbity. Um <laughs> Denise, hi, Chantel, Elizabeth, Maria, Susan. I say Maria because she's up here, but I feel like I don't, you know, I'm missing something if I don't say it. Addie, no, I like to tell Rhea, smash the like, smash the like. Dorothy, yes. Oh, smash the like, follow, um, sub, <laughs> join, all that fun stuff that people ask you to do. Drea, hello, holistic, <laughs> Crystal, Hagarita, April Rain, Barbie, and there goes my mouse disappointing me again. I'm sorry. Drea, we got JG, the enforcer. Um, JG is like my armed security. Hold on, let me get her on there. There we are. So Ooh, I got stuff removed from Reddit. Okay. Sorry. Uh, listen. So if you know, if if we go on a tangent, JG will let us know. And if if the comments get ratty, JG will let you know. So we call her the enforcer in these parts. Um, Sabrina, <laughs> Tina, hold on. Big Bad Wolf, Gibby. Oh, I wish my now you know Elizabeth Pink Flamingo. I'll say hi to everybody in the comments. You know, I'm so bad with technology. I've had this MacBook for a year and a half, and I am still no better versed on it than the day I got it. Like I would figure like you would learn a couple tricks being on something for like, you know so long and only that and still hasn't happened just, for you it's nothing's clicked and everyone's like you have to have the macbook because like you know you have an iphone you have the ipad like you know it's what it's what the, the people in the biz use because you know gotta gotta stay with and i'm like i just miss my like little toshiba 
or my Hewlett Packard, you know, and my window is 95 and like playing hearts whenever I want to. That's what I'm like the good old days or, or what was that? Minecraft. You can still play Minecraft. Can you? <laughs> Absolutely. On Apple. All right, let's get into it. Uh, Tariq, let's get Minty. Let's and get Minty. Let's get I Minty. I just brushed my teeth again, too. I had lobster uh, ravioli. I made it Ooh. yesterday. And I, yep, so, and then I finished it up today. Whoo, so I was, I'm in a good mood. All right, let's, let's get Minty. Yes, he's fabulous. And he, he's on the inside scoop. Ooh, look at that. All right, so you know, Ooh. Hazel, um, the Asian Angelina Jolie has gone awry again. Uh, we're no stranger to this. It happened. It happened in May, um, and I have this on my screen. So I archived all the videos and stuff like that back from May. Cause remember, like like back in May, May first ish, April end of April, like. Uh, Hazel was like walking down like the interstate. Remember that like that weird video? Yeah, and everyone's I like, that. Hazel, what are you doing? This is crazy. And then, you know, uh, let me find the post. Um, she was having a nice mental breakdown and going on a zombie walk in the middle of the night. Like down the road. <laughs> it was it was weird. Um and then, wait, what is this? No. Okay, and then, like, they unfollow each other. Um, and then, like, I posted, like, well, after Hazel's live last night, something is definitely up. Hazel wiped her IG clean of Tariq, and I'm thinking she's probably blocked him as they aren't following each other anymore. And that was posted on April 28th. Okay. Um, then... Uh, on... Later on April 28th, Hazel writes, for everybody who is concerned about my life last night, I am absolutely okay and I am safe. I was just walking to blow off some stress. I'm so sorry if, if it was scary or disturbing to anyone. I'm at home safe and, and, and Tariq, I guess Tariq and her are fine. Um, so that was like that little kerfuffle back in May, late April, early May of this year. So now some fun stuff has happened in the last couple <laughs> of nights. Just to give like a little bit of a little bit of a backstory. Um and this is like you know not a great year for Tariq to begin with because we broke the story about his bankruptcy and like about you know how it was like number one single Yes. Um, you know, dirt, you know, whatever that single was is only worth what $25. Oh God. Like we had the record. Was 28. <laughs> yeah, like of what like he claimed. Uh so not a stellar year for uh you know Dirt Deo Tariq Meyer from 9 Day Fiance. Oh, well, that's you know, I want to make sure I, I reference all his names stage, you know, to be fully um, accurate. So, uh, this was yesterday. Tariq writes, Hazel does not live with me anymore. She said she is in another state with people I don't know. That was so Paul and Karini. I was like, wow, is she in the same safe house Karini was in? I mean, like, did, like, did he borrow that, like, the, like, a template? Is, does Paul have that template? I don't oh, know. Hazel, buddy. Just, you know, just take out Karini's name, put in Hazel's, and you're good. You know, like remember back in the day, like with Windows, and you would ask for help, and like that cute little paperclip guy with the big eyes would come up. <laughs> you know, I'm like that's... breaking. <laughs> okay. And like he was like your little assistant, and like I would like when I was bored at work, and like some like you know some jobs are just you know 
you can't even like they, they cut off like you know your spades and your hearts and your solitaire. So I would I would play like with like you know the Clippy guy. What was his name? Like Clippy or he had a fun name. And I would just ask for help, and I would watch him dance around. And I'm like, oh Clippy. <laughs> Oh my goodness gracious. I can't with you, Clippy. <laughs> what Clippy guy? <laughs> he was entertaining. Oh, and like no, you like, could really jazz really him up and then he would spin around and like, you know, he'd have like, a little dance. Like, here I am to help. I'm like, oh, Clippy guy, you know. Anywho, that's what it reminded me of. Um, so uh, she is going back to the Philippines. I do not, I, I do know that because she has no choice. So what does that mean, Tariq? Like, I mean, I even think Clippy he, he, would be like, I don't understand. Like, question marks over Clippy's face. I think he thinks that, you know, you haven't done your minimum amount of time, you, you go back. But as we see, that happens pretty much none of the time. They all stay. <laughs> so but what does that I mean? Know. Like, I do know that because she has no choice. Like, you know, Hey, Tariq, I expect this, you know, not great grammar from, like, you know, people, but, like, you, come on, spell it out for us. Like, you, you're well equipped. He's just equipped. punctuation. He's just, but he's also punctuation. So, and then, like, next sentence, sentence, but, like, next sentence is even weirder. It's like, it's like an omission of guilt right afterwards. Like, no matter what happened. Oh, uh huh? Wait. So now you're, no now you're admitting that something happened, and now there's a, there's a, a blame that needs to be put on someone like this is, you know, I mean, you really got to read like in between the lines here, but like, this is like compelling shit. It's crazy. Um, and he gives you really everything right there. Um, I ask that you viewers and bloggers leave her alone. Why? She's left you. What well, What does it matter? Wait, 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 wait. Guess what, Tariq? Nobody would be talking about it if you didn't pull this. <laughs> they could have just want another season. They want another season. But did you see what Hazel's, uh, what her bio reads? Yeah, oh, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. No, I want to okay. finish this and then we'll get to it. I need some wine now, John, because you got me thirsty. <laughs> Oh, it's going to get more. It, listen, this, it's going to get more stupider get from here on out. I'm telling you, we're going to get more stupider and more stupider. Well, I and need more to get stupider. stupider. Let me get some like, you know, Tariq is handing over what happened in a platter. You just got to really dissect it. Um, it's, you know, what's his mo for posting this like hazel does not live with me anymore point blank for a sentence like boom well I, I, i'm you gonna know? tell you i'm gonna tell you because the day before he posted something weird too he posted a little video of it was like it was like a door and there was the philippines flag on it and he took it off of the door and then he and he kind of just like dropped it on the ground and he's like this isn't this isn't against everybody in the philippines just one person in particular so he threw that uh, whatever. Out there speculatively, and people were like, uh, "What's going on with you and Hazel?" Other people were like, "Well, maybe it's not about Hazel. Maybe it's about Dean." You know? <laughs> so, and then people asked about Minty too, and he's and they're like, "Oh, so where's Minty?" And he and he responded, "In her skin." <laughs> so, so he was, he was <laughs> maybe insulting. Minty is not talking to him either. But what's his purpose for down. leaving the story? It's so like it's it's right that like Hazel does not live with me anymore. Uh, okay, all right. Well, nobody see. knew that. So I'm okay, so that nobody knew. No one cared. Like you know, I I feel like I'm pretty like you know, hip to what's going on with 90 Day Fiance. Like you know, I don't know. Um, and like Tariq and Hazel were on no one's radar. You know, <laughs> Nobody's. No, like but, pff, who who. Uh, you know, no, uh, Dean and his wife or fiance are more in tune with what's going on with 90 days than Tariq and Hazel. No one cares. No one. Yeah, but but first Tariq will vague post and get everybody all worked up, which is what he did with his weird Filipino flag thing. And then and then we get here where he starts being direct because first he always throws out something weird and vague to get everybody, you know, to bait us. Right. But this is so passive, water. aggressive, direct, indirectness. It's like, I mean, like, this should be put, like, in a, in a scholar somewhere. Like, here, like, you know, she said, um, 
She said she's in another state with people. I don't know. So by writing that, you're making it seem like she left me and feel bad for me. You know, like, what's his purpose of writing that? He's mad. Like, he's what's mad. the purpose of the little girl talking about she wants Hazel's cup? Did you see that? Then he deleted what? it. Oh, I no, we're gonna no, we're gonna read through oh, okay. this. The, the, hi, we're doing a whole live just for this. We're gonna, we're oh, gonna, dang. we're okay. gonna dissect okay. this. <laughs> um, ne next, she is going back to the Philippines, huh? Huh? Like you know, he just giving us like you know, it's like like my name is John Yates. I grew up on Long Island. <laughs> I drive a Ford Mustang. I am like it's just like a bunch of facts in a row. That like, but like facts that he just wants to kind of ruin her with. Like this is not like he's a worried about Hazel. He just throw in some just he's always throwing no, it he's mad. out there. You know, and he's. I mean, uh, I'm raising my hand. I have a question. Go ahead, go ahead, Heidi. So when he says that she's going back to the Philippines, she has no choice. Does that mean he didn't get her green card? I took that as an immigration type of thing. Like she has no choice. She has to go back because I, you know, and then we'll, which will bring us up to what happened today. And then we'll all tie a little red bow around it together. Yeah. And that'll be that. Um, but yeah. And then, so, so he writes, she is going back to Philippines. Okay. So we're taking what you're saying, you know, as facts. Next line. It's almost like he was writing this as he was reading people's emotions to it. So in, in Tariq's head, he's saying she's going back to the Philippines. And then Tariq is thinking, oh, what if they don't think that you know the truth about her going back to the Philippines? So the next line Tariq says is, I do know this because she has no other choice. <laughs> How, but like see, later, she does have a choice. She does have a choice. Not if he didn't change her status. But if I'm trying to sell you on something, I would, I would not be like, oh my god, um, here's like the best phone on the market. Um, it, it's pretty and it's great, uh, and I love it. But <laughs> look. Me and my husband. Are we all showing our phones? <laughs> all join in. I'm watching on my phone. <laughs> Where my phone at? Look. <laughs> like, come on. I'm joking. I took a drag off of this. Yeah, I'm joking. Come on, John. Who lets me? <laughs> you all red. And, you know, and no matter what I say about this phone that I'm trying to sell to you, it's like, I'm telling the truth. Um, and no matter what people say, my word, it's like, I know you got to like back up, like, you know, that's, that's your next card, buddy. You don't, you don't pull that, you don't play that card until you have to, like, you know, you, you make your case and you don't say, and just for you who, who might be questioning, you know, John that's Yates. Just, Basically, John Yates. Yeah, like. <laughs> Basically, John Yates. But remember, he and Hazel were doing everything they can to bring her son over here to the States because they feel that he'll do better and he's ready to come and all of this stuff. <laughs> I told you. Oh, he, he brings that up too. She's with other people. She's with a woman. <laughs> Oh, if she's with a woman, she'll be happy. She's good. She's with a woman. That's what she wanted. Oh, my beautiful sister. Today is her birthday. Oh, whose birthday? Edith. Happy birthday, Edith. Happy birthday. That's my baby sister. Today is her birthday. Oh, she looks beautiful. She, she keeps sending me pictures of her. I don't know why. I know what she looks like, but okay. <laughs> Okay, come on, John. Finish reading this novel. Um, I mean, this drag story, this sad story. <laughs> okay, so he goes, I ask that you viewers and bloggers leave her alone. Like, I wouldn't... John Yates. I didn't even follow Tariq or Hazel. Someone had to send, me, send, send this to me, first of all. I'm like, because that's how invested I am in their lives. Because 
uh, he knew um, you would get it, John Yates. <laughs> I do follow Tariq, so that's how I knew about that weird Filipino flag thing. But then he took it down, so you didn't even get to see he took all it that. Down. <laughs> And then he goes, please do not attack her or harass her like you've been doing for the last three years. What? So now he's putting the blame on the fans <sighs> for whatever is going south. In the He attached whatever is happening between him and Hazel to just crazy fans because point blank, please do not attack her or harass her like you've been doing for the last three years. So it's huh? so Tariq is at no fault, at no fault in any way. It's you guys, it's all of us. Me, I'm a blogger, me included. It's all of our fault for attacking her for three years. And this is the problem that made Hazel do a whole bunch of different stuff to make Tariq react even more. So it's all our fault, guys. I'm sorry, and you're welcome, and Merry Christmas. Like, I'm not sure. If you go back through Tariq's Instagram, if you go to May 2nd, so that would be right after they had their little weird meltdown, right? Their previous one where she was walking down the street. There's a video that he made. You know, it's got some music to it of Hazel. Oh, and was he Dirk like, Jaya? Was he Hannah Montana or <laughs> Tariq Meyer? <laughs> we don't see him. You just see Hazel kind of walking up some stairs. Because, you know, he you does know, have, like, the two identities. So let's give him the respect that he deserves. I'm and just then saying. it says a bunch of it says a bunch of things like mean things that people say about Hazel. So your eyes are too far apart or too big, your lips are too big, your you know, whatever, like your hair is gross, cut it off. Like all of this stuff that I'm like, who says any of that stuff about Hazel? Okay, so again, was this as Tariq Maya or his stage name Hannah Montana Dirdeo? Because um I think it's like important. For the story, I don't. I I will have to investigate that one. Okay. <laughs> he isn't in it. He just he just then like he just it's just all of these mean things that people say that I find weird that anybody would say them. And then at the very I, end, I'm got looking at these weird. comments and I don't see nobody saying nothing bad about Hazel. No. Uh, we're not talking about we're, no one's saying bad about Hazel at all. Nope. Uh, yeah. And this oh, is for too big. Cut the hideous hair. You're by you. You're too skinny. Your neck is too long. They're <laughs> mad, jail, unhappy. <laughs> Why does Tariq keep hashtagging it like Tarzel? Like, come on, Tariq. Really? Uh, oh my huh? God. Like, he, he thinks, like, you know, Tariq's head's always been kind of like overinflated. And now he's yes. really thinking. It's like a Brad and Jennifer Aniston type of breakup, or, or like you know, he thinks like like you know, it's hashtag Tarzel, like you know, uh, the Grammys might have like an in memoriam section, like you know, during the next you know award ceremony to, you know, uh, Grammy never nominated award singer um, Hannah Montana Dirteu. So I don't know. Is that really his his stage name, Dirk? Dirk it's Dirk Deu. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it's D I R T like Dirt, and then D A Y O U, like 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 Deu, like rhymes with Bayu, but Bay, yeah, Bayu, Bayu, like but Deu. Okay. He meant Dirt Digger. That's what he meant. Dirt. Digger. No, he wishes it was Dirt Diggler. <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe he does. I don't know. But, I didn't say the uh, full thing, but you knew what I meant. <laughs> I mean, listen, I don't know. I, I you know, wait, he, he might have to go to OnlyFans. Uh, okay. Certainly a lot of cats have gone that route. So. We all saw it through the season. She was more interested, and she even said it in one of her confessionals. She wants a woman, but she doesn't want to share with Tyreek. And he's going to have to adjust to that. She wanted a girlfriend, not a husband. That's oh, my God. It. Yeah, but Every she also would thought... get jealous if other women were interested in Tariq more than they were with her. She'd I'd be, be like, jealous, go right? get him, girl. He's all yours. Like, wine and dine him. <laughs> take him out. Go date him. Like, you know, I'm already married to him. So, like, you know, take his mind off me. Have him. Like, you know, take him out yeah. two, three weeks in a row. You know, it's, you know, it's fine. You know what? I feel he, like he, they could have had, 
they could have had an open, open relationship, right? He could have had other people. She could have had other people and it could have worked, but she got too jealous. It seemed like nobody could have Tariq. Tariq can't have anybody else. Only she I don't know if it was that else. or, you know, I think some stuff went down with Minty when they were there. And like, I feel like, I don't know, like, you know, I'm just, this is a legend. Well, not, no, I'm just, you know, speculating. Like, you know, okay. what I envision happening that night, uh, what, where it made uh, Minty and uh, uh, Angelina Jolie and his, you know, I, I feel like, you know, maybe, maybe Hazel walked in and like, you know, Minty was like, you know, just on the ceiling fan and just something weird. <laughs> the ceiling fan. You know, walked in and then Hazel and then Tariq was like, you know, just something like some weird. And then Hazel was like, you know, because Hazel only has one expression. So she was like. My paperweight has more of an expression than Hazel. No, that was me holding my, like, I wasn't freezing, but you know, that was Hazel, you know. <laughs> Look, oh my God, Hazel just won the lottery. Let's see what Hazel looks like. <laughs> she so looks like Angelina Jolie. Not. She looks like Angelina Jolie. Well, the Asian Angelina Jolie. Oh, yes. That's what it was. Okay. Oh, my God. That's so, weird. you know. Oh, my God. You know. Um, <laughs> Hazel. Uh, okay. Where could Hazel be at? Hazel could be in Vegas right now, and she just won $20 million. And this is her at the slot machine taking the picture with the $20 million. <laughs> Well, I hope you run into her when you're in Vegas. That would be cool. <laughs> Get some pictures with her. Yeah. Great. You know, because Hazel clearly wears her heart on her sleeve is what I'm saying. Uh, you know, it just, just it, the emotion reads all over her body. Wait, I did see her smile. There was there was a butt in her face, and it was doing the yeah. Well, when it, oh, yes, oh, it was the only yes. time I saw her smiling at her bachelorette party when that woman was in front right. of her. She, she talking about she was just all excited. I'm like, yeah, girl, get you some of that. <laughs> Don't share with Tyreek now. It's like her taking that last nope. bite of cookie. And she don't want to share it. Get out of here. My um, butt. <laughs> so then Tariq, uh, Tariq, so then Hazel changes her bio on her Instagram to say, mm. um, now this is what, you know, Hazel's like, all right, you know, let's bump this up. Let's make John, this real somebody life. else just said the same thing you did. Uh, I don't know why he's doing this. No one was bothering her until you said leave. He her put alone. it out there, and here we are talking about it. He's the one who did it. Oh my God, Hazel has a TikTok. <laughs> it's not a very good TikTok. I looked at it today. I'm looking Listen, at it. I don't. I I refuse to follow. I have not followed either of them in like two years. I'm like, you know, I'm sorry. They're like, why don't you uh, post about Hazel and and, and Tariq? Because I'm like, because I don't care. Like I, I, it just I, ugh, like no. Um, so Hazel bumped it up. You know, she like you know she put fifty nine day fiance coins down on the table, and she says on her bio, a real man won't abuse his woman, women, mentally and emotionally. Real man don't run his mouth on social media. Wait till I'm okay. Truth will prevail. Mm -hmm. Facts. That's I, I, so that's that's Hazel. That's Hazel. Did she that's mean Mr. and Mrs. Or... Asian Smith's uh new bio? Okay. Did she really mean prevail? Yeah, the truth will prevail. Oh, see, I the way she wrote it, I was like, No, yeah, the like yeah. I, I paraphrase that because the bio is a mockery. I was trying to read like what she, I thought she was trying to get across. She clearly like 
Google translated what she wanted to say in a mad frenzy, and this is like the best she can get. So she's like, you know what? Fuck it. I'll just use this, and it's it's close enough. So Ooh, that's clear. Mm. Do you think that he actually mentally and emotionally abused her, though? I mean, th there's some things in his response to this that make it sound a little like, all right, you do sound a little bit off with the way you're approaching this, but. <laughs> Let me tell you what I saw with this. He thought this woman who came here, she needed him. Uh, she was going to be subservient to him. As long as he gives her a woman, she was going to be there to help take care of his daughter, which can somebody comb that little girl's hair? Please comb that child's hair. She might that not want to comb. On video camera with her hair looking like that. I know she has a mother. Please comb her hair. That's all I'm saying. I'm sorry. Okay. That's what he wanted. He wanted somebody to come here. Uh, he's going to let her have her way and have her a woman they can share it she gonna take care of the little girl they're gonna try to get her son here and yeah but he don't file bankruptcy because he can't afford shit i mean nothing so okay he can't afford his own single <laughs> i'm just saying triple not platinum certified just saying i don't know to me it seems like he was trying to give her literally anything she wanted you know what i mean what do you want i will do i it. don't I know that's, like, that's what he was putting out there i don't know if it's true but that uh, seems like what he was putting out there i always kind of believed dean more i thought dean was Thank a you. more sincere than than Thank tariq you. like tariq is like i'm gonna get on a show yeah i'm gonna be dirt day you Dean's know what's two, up two years ago that tariq and hazel were freaks and that they both, you know, that Hazel went both ways. He said it himself, put it all out there. And Tyreek saying that Dean owes him respect. What? I should have Ricky on. Uh, I don't know if Ricky, but like, you know, like, you know, you know, the season just ended and Tariq's like, I got to drop a, I got to drop an album. I got to do a video. You know, it was, and then. Who's going to watch it? It, you know, I'm just asking. I'm, it was he was always it. awful. Like it just like there was like nothing appealing about him. Like you know, nothing. Always, he's he not was always anything. he needs to shave that head because he got bald spots here and, there, and everywhere. Listen, there's nothing appealing about Hazel. Like, I mean, like, unless you like um. Get, all right, so let's play a game real quick. Um, um, Heidi and Maria, I'll ask you to both give me an emotion, and I will do it to the best of my abilities as Hazel. So, um, Heidi, go first. Give me an emotion. I will portray that emotion as Hazel. Happy. <laughs> <laughs> How about aroused? But yeah, she sure. She's not on the spectrum. Like, she is okay. I mean, maybe we're all missing it, uh, Tariq. I don't know what the appeal is with her. Like, you know, listen, I'm on no one's side on this one. I dislike them equally both. So I don't care either way. You like them equally? So you like Good them? Luck. I, like, I don't care. You like them? No, I, I just like, they're, they're <laughs> both like. Okay, I can, so you dislike them both equally. Thank I you. I don't care. Okay. So yeah, he has like, very neutral okay. feelings. Right. Like, There's I got no dog in this fight. I'm just here to see who's going to play the messiest. And, and Tariq's winning so far. Uh, because if it wasn't for Tariq, nobody would know. Well, I'm reaching out to Hazel on. right now. I'm reaching out to Hazel right now. I'm going to tell her, girl, I'm here for you if you ever want to. <laughs> So then, okay, so now we just saw, um, hey, that was, so that, so Hazel changing her bio got Tariq all dirty, so, you know. He was bothered. He was bothered. He had to turn back into Dirt Deo, Hannah Montana edition of Tariq. You know, he had to, you know, remember like when Jem turned from Jericho to Jem, from the Jem cartoon from back in the 80s? Yes. So Tariq was like, oh, is Synergy calling? Hold on. Okay, now I'm Dirt Deo, Hannah Montana, 
Jarek Stevens. He has uh, so the age of Tariq. There is no Tariq here at all. And she's followed by Natalie. Ooh, Mike's Natalie is following her. Ew. Ew. Good luck with that. Mike's Natalie is following her. Ooh, okay. Okay, so now Tariq takes a screenshot of, uh, what's her name? Hazel, whatever her name is. Hazel. You know, because that, that's how exciting she is. I can't remember her name. Well, I've been talking about her for like, you know, two years and I still can't remember her name. So he takes a picture of Hazel's bio and posts it. And now we have both captions because he, he, he did one very uh, cutting caption. And then he was like all like Girl Scouts about it. So we'll read both captions. So he highlights uh, Hazel saying that uh, real men don't abuse women and writes... Lawyers told me that you would claim this. Yep, he said that. They say it's the go-to claim to try and say in the U.S. I said, no way, not my wife. Not my, not my wife. She'd never. She'd go back willingly first. Is this really who you are? Um, so, so Tariq is clearly mad that his wife, um, not his wife, his wife, Miss Asian Angelina Jolie, you know, the woman of a million faces. <laughs> or one. Or one. Thank you. Um, and now he's mad. Okay, so um, I get, and this is like after he called her out. Nobody knew that they were fighting at all. No, not one person in the world other Nobody than cares. Hazel and Tariq. But Tariq was like, and don't anybody bash her, bloggers, like viewers, Paul, fans, Christians, Republicans, like Democrats, Paul and Karini, <laughs> animal, vegetable, minerals, any of you, Paul and do Karini. not you do not dare. Yeah, this is a this is Paul was like Paul was probably like. Uh, <laughs> Listen, Paul and Karini are freaks too, so it all it all lines up. Ooh. And you know, Paul and Tariq were both they on that same season. Paul was like, Tariq, buddy, let me hey Tariq, let me walk you through this. And, and let, let me show you. Let me walk let me walk you through that on the ropes. Uh, you know, because you don't want your swimming swimmers or any of that going down there. Uh, let me show you the the Paul Staley, the Paul Staley way of, of just getting a good old social media scan to you. So Tariq was like, okay, Paul, all right, so. Um, and this, this has got Paul's name all over it. Hey, Paul, if you're watching, love you. Merry Christmas. I got um, a picture of her smiling. And if Paul was watching, he'd be like, damn straight. Thanks for recognizing. So, uh, um, he goes, I still will not bash you Ooh, or air sweet. out our personal life. I will say that, you know, everything I ever said or did was to provide a wonderful life for you, my daughter. And your son, like your son, all in caps, like meaning like that was your son. Never mind. I put, you know, that was like a real like, you know. So did you, I guess you never saw her son as your, like, I don't know. That's. Are we talking about, are we talking about Hazel's he son? He always said her son. He always said Hazel's son. son. Yeah. And your son. But he's making it sound like he cares more about her son than she does. It's but yet I believe he's making it sound like he put a lot of money into her, her son, be, but it was her son. Like to me, it feels like he's that was never he never had any type of like a deep connection, like a, yeah, I'm a, I'm a father. He didn't, he didn't yeah. spend that much time with that child. He didn't. Yeah. What is he met him once, twice? Well, I'm not, I don't, listen, I'm just saying that he put your son all in caps and it's, uh, I don't know. So then well, he goes, thank you for caring about my son. 
I appreciate it. No one is fighting harder for him than I am to this day. Not even you. So don't let IG haters and the friends around you push you to make a bad decision because you're upset. Legit, I think Paul wrote the same thing. Yeah. It's yeah, exactly. This sounds yeah, exactly sounds the same. Paul. Wow. I like and I bet if I dig in my archive, I could probably find like where I, I, I can almost remember a Paul story where it's he's From saying side by the side. same thing verbatim. Oh I'm my just God. That's, I'm that's very sad mean. that they're not going to make it. Oh my God. Do you know there's a Jennifer and 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 Jesse Callender? Huh? huh? Of course there is. <laughs> oh, and Jeff. <laughs> please. <laughs> um, I meant to tell you that I saw that. I'm like, what? So then he goes, um, I know one person who would, and I only told social media you left and asked that you be left alone and not harassed. So no one knew she left again. No one knew right. she left. And then he had to do all this. No one knew. No one's in Virginia Beach. Paparazzi not in the bushes. Right. No one's paying attention. To <laughs> I don't even. Care. I don't even care enough. Like I, you know, even now I'm like, oh, it's like you know, whatever. Like. Uh, like he's thinking, like you know, he's Hannah Montana. This is like him writing as Hannah Montana, because he thinks he's like something. This this is Dirt Dayu Hannah Montana. I think Tariq, you not just regular Tariq Meyer, not Virginia to... Beach Tariq Meyer. This is Hannah Montana. Nope. And Dirt where Dayu. he lives in Virginia Beach is not. Uh, he's not even close to Lynn Haven Parkway, so he's not in a very nice area. I looked at that sign. Remember, I used to live in Virginia Beach for like eight years. How do you for the, for, the, for the deep shade? She's like, and he ain't even in a nice area of Virginia Beach. I mean, you didn't hear from me, nice but. Either. Yeah, I mean, come on now. Uh, come on. And the truck he's driving is a company truck. Well, is it supposed to be his truck or a company truck? Then he had a car at one company? Time. The company truck, yes. I don't know who Wait, car he borrowed that time. What's he do? The company, it was a truck with the ladder that he was driving all the time. That little white thing. I thought he was like a realtor or something. Okay, or a real estate let's keep investor. going. He is not. <laughs> JG is getting mad. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Moving along. Oh, JG, I'm sorry. <laughs> let's keep talking about Tyreek and his wannabe rap career. No, okay. well, we still have more. <coughs> okay. Um. You're going to make yourself look much worse if you force me to tell my side online. Meanwhile, <laughs> the only thing that Hazel's done, from what I can see, is change the bio. Change the bio. Calm down and call me Dwayne. I'm not sure who Dwayne is. Dwayne is his. Is, is the guy that was at the wedding. He's is, the he a, is he a brother? The oh, brother. That's brothers then. The that's his here. brother. Okay, so he has uh, uh, Dean and Dwayne. Those are his brothers. D-U-W-A-I-N, Dwayne. Dwayne is flying here tomorrow to stay with me for a while to help me try and talk to you and fix it. I didn't lie on you, so don't lie on me. Hashtag Tarzel. Why does uh, she so want to talk she. to him or Dwayne if he mentally and emotionally abused her? Why? Why would his brother come in to try help him fix it? Why are you putting this on social media? No one cares. Again, nobody is jumping out the bushes, taking you and Hazel's pictures. No one is following you. No one is stalking you. Your own brother don't even talk to you. Dean, that is, who's more popular than you are. That's what it is. He's trying to get attention on him. Heidi, if I got you a signed copy of Dirt Deus first single... Um and maybe like uh would you be happy would you I would, would you... fly to New York and shove that right up your butt seriously <laughs> even if it's if it is signed um he is yes he's fighting with himself no one is watching to see what you're doing look at your followers you're not following anyone you were on 90 days to what two seasons three seasons and you're just at 119k come on now yeah, but I think I think he's doing the same thing we're doing. He's dissecting the tiny little thing that she wrote 
and he's spinning himself up. He's spinning himself up, and then he's just Wah! all of his anger all over well, social media. Hansel's not saying anything, nothing. She said the truth will prevail. She did, but she also implied that her, that her husband may have emotionally and mentally been abusive. He probably she did. Implied that. Hazel did. didn't help things by changing her bio. I mean, like, come no. on, you know. She I mean, but who if, actually thought they would stay together? I didn't. I always say she wanted a woman. I stand by that. She don't want a man. She married yeah. him to get a green card to stay here because this is a land of plentiful women and is sh is, is shunned on over there in Thailand, in the Philippines. So she needs to be here to get her, you know, people come to the land of opportunity. And she wanted sure. to come to the land of plentiful. <laughs> I mean, I think she did, but also, you know, we, she hasn't even gotten her son here yet. So she has not even crossed she the She wasn't thinking line. about getting her son here. That was Tariq talking, not her. You don't think she wanted her son here? He's with his dad. That man and that his wife he's married to is not going to let that little boy leave after they've raised him. He hmm. was just talking. Maybe you want to see something funny? Not for us not to stay. Look at this. I got a notification on Instagram. So weird. It's funny. Hold on so you guys can see it. Let me put me full screen. Thank oh, you. God. Not from day one, Angel's mama. Not from day one. She didn't want him. Um, solo. Okay. Oh, that's a whole lot of me. Okay. So, <laughs> okay. So look, okay. So it's my iPad. So it says, see like that thing since your post includes information about, um, COVID-19, COVID. yes. we've added a link to a health source. Okay. So that was two minutes ago. Right. Okay. So I click on this video, right? Okay. So watch. Okay. Let me show you where Instagram's priorities are. So weird. Okay, so there you see it, right? So let yep, me click on. Let me click. Ah! And I. <laughs> and then that's why you need good cases on iPads. Okay. So okay. So then again. So. All right. Let me try. Okay. Click on it. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Oh my god, no, come back. Ah. Is that a picture of Tariq <laughs> getting his shot? No. It was an article. Okay. Thank you. From my showcase. From my story from 87 weeks ago, April 2nd, 2020. And Instagram was like, you know what? We need more people to work here and go through stories that are a year and a half old um, oh, because God forbid we miss, God forbid. you know, anything. What? what do you mean? Like somebody, somebody had reported it or something or. And no, it's just like, it's so weird. Like, you know, and, it, it, and the post has nothing to do with, with Rona. Absolutely nothing. Oh, okay. 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 It's about Amphisa and George and it's from. <laughs> Hold on. April 2nd, 2020. And Instagram was like, uh oh. We need uh oh. Oh, you know what? Weird. But was he was he trying to get out early because of the COVID pandemic? I don't know. I'm sorry. It was it, it just like <laughs> it had a little bit of COVID weaved in. So weird. Um, but did we cover everything with um weird Tariq and um so the, I don't does, know. Right, no wait. So is Minty at Tariq's house now? Like you know, just like mitten it up. She's in her skin. She's in her skin. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> and Tarzel is a combination of Tariq and Hazel. Tarzel. Right. It's Tariq and T A. First letters and her last Z E L. So Tariq Tar T A R. His name is T R I K. She is H A Z E L. So Tarzel, T A R Z E L. Yeah, that's they're, they're very edgy. Yeah. <laughs> I believe that he also posted telling her to use her head. Yeah, yes. he said, use your head, meaning, do you really want to go back to the Philippines or you want to stay here in this land of opportunity with all these big booty women? That's what he was saying. Is that the way you took it? <laughs> that's the way I took it. But he made it clear, like, you know, like, you know, 
Mm. Good luck. I'm the best. I'm Dirteo. She's got you know. every every shape, size, color she can have. It's a, it's it's a smorgasbord of women. Why would you want to go said. back to the Philippines? Because you know, uh, you know, she just told her mom and them that she was by. I'm basically, you know, and she was fearing how her mother would feel. They don't care. You're here in America. They're going to be able to come over because Tarzel, well, Tar, Tyree, whatever his stage name is, he's going to go bankrupt again by trying to get them here to keep her here. Yeah. Okay. I think Minty's right there, right now, just sitting. I don't think so. Somewhere. Did he bring her from the Philippines? I don't know. I just feel like Minty's, she from Minty's Thailand? involved. Thailand, yes. Thailand. Yeah, yes. Thailand. So you think he brought her over? I don't know. I just feel like Mincy is somewhere involved. I don't know. We need to talk to Dean because Dean seemed to know everything. I don't really care. Like, you know, it's fun now, but. <laughs> oh, my God. They said maybe they thought Anfisa was a virus. <laughs> it does sound <laughs> like a virus. Anfisa. You have Anfisa. <laughs> And Minty okay. is prettier, very much so. Prettier, prettier. I think she, she just, they brain. just got along better, you know? Like they were just, yep. they, I thought they, she was better with Tyreek better. myself. I thought she and Tyreek were good. Why did he want I Hazel? think like I Minty know. next to anybody would be good. Like, I don't think Hazel knows how to like look at somebody, just talk to them. Like, she, you know, hey, um, Heidi, um, I'm your daughter. And um, I'm Hazel, and you haven't seen me since I since I left for school. Um, and I'm home for Christmas break. It's been months, and I'm your daughter Hazel, and you're so excited to see me. And I'm Hazel. So action! I can't do it. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I can claim it as like my daughter. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's Did you like? I can get like you know. I can put some blush on if it helps you. No. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't even fake it. Okay. There you go. Now, I got there. When I saw my son, when Good he got off the plane, you. came out the airport, I hadn't seen him in two years since he'd been to Italy. I was in tears. I was hugging. Okay, so I'm your son, and uh, and it's been since Italy. Okay, so. Oh, Mommy is happy. I'm screaming. I'm jumping up. I'm cursing out the people at airport security that's telling me to move my car. I said, I'm not going to damn step until my son walks through that door. It's been two years, and that man looked at me and knew I wasn't playing. And when he came out, I jumped out the car, hugged him. I got, it was funny. I had my earbuds wrapped. <laughs> I almost choked myself. <laughs> I was happy to see my baby, and he was excited to see me. Hazel, I don't think that is um no no she can't be my daughter i no well okay. imagine like if like you did all that and then like hazel is your son and hazel is like this really i'm so happy to see you i've missed you so much <laughs> slap slap okay get your shit together be happy to see me I'm good. <laughs> john you do that so well and then so, when Hazel, mm, I I have a prediction. Know where personally. she's at, he needs to tell us what state so we can go locate her. He doesn't know the state. No, no, he said Just like people he it. doesn't know. No, he said people he doesn't know in another state. How do you know oh. she's in another state? How do you oh. know that she, she might? Said, right, he said I'm not be, in Virginia. I don't know. <laughs> She might be right there in Norfolk, Chesapeake. She might be in Williamsburg. She might just change her location on her IG profile to show another state. She may be 20 minutes away from him. He don't know. Who in the hell she knows in another state? And what money did she well, get? Well, he knows. Target? He knows that she's in another state. And um, that's like Paul. Her to use her head. Mm. They're holding her against her will. That's what Paul said about Karini. 
Well, that's he's got a and, and a translator that's translating everything she yes. says to make it sound worse than what it really yeah. is. Just yeah, like yeah, th that's what's going on. You know what? He and Paul are definitely working together. You're right, John. No, I didn't start that. I'm just saying, like you know, it's very Paul esque. Uh, he took a page out of Paul's book. Next thing you know, he's going to go to the Philippines. He's going to find their old apartment. He's going to make it livable, you know, which it was. <laughs> it was like one bedroom, wasn't it? Just one room. One room. Then they found another empty apartment, put a pool in it. I was like, it's this mess. <laughs> put a pool in it. He did do some weird stuff. <laughs> or she did. It's hard to say. Uh, no, that's what Paul did. You yeah. know, he had to go over there to be with to, uh, to be with Karini's family. And now Paul is in a doghouse and we don't know why. And then, you know, Paul is weird. Can you interview him again soon, please? So I can no. <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't want to go down that please. spiral again? I want to be on panel when Paul is here. because That takes like, you know, it's, it, I, I, you know, it's That's every, month, yeah. Month, uh, you do one live you know with Paul you and just it takes like three years out of your life. Out. I'm, I'm yeah, not so fully back yourself. since my you last. Need a cardboard, you need a cardboard cutout of yourself, John. And then you just ask him a question and then you put the cardboard cutout out and then you walk away. And just you wouldn't even talk. need the cardboard, the, the cut, the, the cutout. You wouldn't need it. It, it. it just, you just. No, we'll be like, Paul, we're going to ask you some questions. No. Nope. Answer the questions nope. directly. Paul's like, I was going to talk and then talk and then talk and then talk some mm -hmm. more. Bless his heart. Um, you know, Paul can you really say, Paul, we have one question for you and you have one hour to answer. And I will answer <laughs> that in five million parts. <laughs> Tomorrow's second part. We'll we'll ask him we'll ask him seven questions. We'll get him on for oh a week. Oh my god. You got the one... next day you get one question and an hour to answer it. John, that one time you had Paul up there, I'm like, he he never answered and he was talking about <laughs> And then he's moving Everything. all over. I couldn't watch no more. I just oh my said, God. I Paul was like the second. <laughs> he was like the second cast member I ever interviewed, and the first time we did it, like we had such a. He was in Brazil. It was like when they were still filming, like before, when he first got down there. This is a year, like four or five years ago, and like we tried to do it live on Periscope, and he heard every third word. It was a nightmare. It's on my. It's actually on my channel now. Um, we redid it. Um, okay, so are you going to my first videos? Are you going to try to interview Usman again? Why? No. <laughs> well, you I think I might go the other way with that one. I, I'd much rather hear from Lisa. But isn't he going to be on the new season with another woman? Yes. yes. With Lisa 2.0, but not Lisa really. Lisa Ham is now following me. And I was going to bring, I was going to uh, I talk to her in a DM and see, can I bring her on? But if you want to interview Lisa Ham, uh, I think you should. I would like to see like her uh, opinion on things once, like, you know, she's seen a couple of episodes. Like, that's what I would like to. Well, why don't you reach out to her and see if she'll come on? Yeah, no, I've, I, I talked to Lisa. <laughs> Okay. Um, oh, Vanderpump. Not, not Vanderpump. He's, he's like Vanderpump. Okay. If I if I talk to Lisa Vanderpump, yeah, we'd have uh, a oh lot more God. interesting things. Guess what I got caught up doing yesterday? Oh, uh, you better be careful. You better be quick about it. JG will will strike. Me. Hurry. Okay. Heidi. I started watching Vanderpump Rules, the new season. I got all the way to episode six, and I'm like, really, Heidi? You're still watching this? I mean, yeah. Okay, I love Lisa. Yes, I love her house, but them Can, them them we get, teams need to go away. Lisa Vanderpump and Lisa Ham interview both of them at the same time. Just everybody named Lisa. Just put them all on one episode. No, that's a good idea, Maria. <laughs> How's terrible. your son doing? How's your son? I haven't seen any of your episodes on IG lately. I haven't done any because we're moving and he got a job and we just haven't figured out how to do it. But he's doing great. He's a uh, He's a grant writer for. He's a, funny. It's a TV show on PBS. Some okay. weird make make forty eight. I think he writes grants for that. So he's doing good. He's doing good. Okay. I'll see him in a 
Christmas is around the corner. I'll see you. Okay. <laughs> I love your son. I, I'm serious. He's funny. I and too. I walked in when I was like, what is he talking about? And I'm looking, I said, oh my God, that's her son. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You guys look alike. He's funny. We do. Yeah. And he goes on some pretty good rants too. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. I've been in there. <laughs> So we're going to say that this this was our break, and then we'll start season two, and then it'll sound like, you know, like we meant to have this big break. Oh. Hey, it's There we go. There it is. Fine. Yes. Yes. The lighting is better. Okay. Thank you, Cody. Hello. You know, My pleasure. He's got his whole glam squad there, lights, camera, <laughs> everything. Well, it's like Marshall's glam squad, you know. <laughs> I'm going to. Oh, I have a prediction real quick about Hazel and Terrell. Terrell. Hazel. Who's and Terrell? Terrell? Who's <laughs> Terrell? Who's Terrell? He's on, he's, he's on the champion. And he's he's on the uh, the challenge. You know Terrell. He's won like six times. Her name is anyway, Terrell. That's different show. Yeah. Um, Tariq. Hazel and Tariq. Uh, when, when he wrote, you know, uh, use your head, Hazel. That I think he's saying that if he she keeps saying stuff like that about him even in that little passive aggressive way that he's going to let all of her skeletons out of the closet. What skeletons? I don't know. They do threesomes. She spends more time with the woman than he does. Come on. What, what else is that to say? He's going to let it all out. He's trying to say she's an unfit mother is what he's alleging. You think that that's she, what it is? He said, I'm the only one that's uh, trying to do for your son more than you are. So your, son. Saying, your son. Your <laughs> son. That she is an unfit mother, <laughs> but I want to hear from the daddy what Tariq has done for her son. Because I bet he didn't do yes. your son. <laughs> I bet he sends money. I bet he sends money. You know what money? I don't know. I think he has some passive income that we don't know about. Does he? Maybe he has property that he it's rents from the out. Record sales. It's from the record sales. That's what it's from. It's from the record sales. <laughs> Oh, his record's oh only God. worth $25. They're doing well in the Philippines and in uh and, Allegedly, and but on facts, on tax documents. Yes. Your son. Allegedly. Your son. Oh, my gosh. Your son. And the girl, son. Emma girl, she says it's probably the, that the dad isn't really the dad. Ooh, that Ooh. would be terrible. You remember, when, you remember when she was talking and she was like, she had slept with whatever and... You know, she was making it sound like she had had a few encounters and she wasn't sure. But undoubtedly, the man has him, so it must be his son. Because I don't think nobody's going to raise somebody else's child and be with another woman that he's married to. Or he believes it's his son. Or he believes it's his son, that's true. But then Tariq wouldn't know if it's his son or not. He can just throw shit out there and hopefully sticks to the wall. Tariq wouldn't know, know his asshole from his elbow. Come on. He don't know. He don't know if his daughter is his. <laughs> Uh, no, I'm sorry. She looks like him. Sorry. Take that back. Oh, Heidi. How oh. dare you? Heidi. Oh, it's the holidays. <laughs> she does look like her dad. She does. It's, oh, no shade. She looks like her dad. So I even got Cody laughing in the bedroom. He's, okay, we saw the like, oh, Heidi, it's the holidays. He's like, okay. ha, ha, ha. We saw the ex-wife. <laughs> we saw the ex-wife when she dropped the little girl off. She doesn't look like the ex. She looks like her father. My granddaughter looks like her dad. They all do. My granddaughters look like their dads. My son looks like me. Well, one of them. The other one looks like the uh, my husband. Yeah. Well, so, <laughs> nothing wrong with that. Except for they're a prettier version of their dads, but okay. <laughs> oh, boy. But she looks like her dad. Don't you think it's weird that he has custody of the little girl? But that's what he claims. He has custody of the little girl. It was like he had like he had like magnets on his fridge, like like I guess like the last time he was on, and it, like, there was like a schedule or something. I I don't know. I don't like. Okay. Him. I don't like Did her. Did you see oh, the video? No. Did you see the video when he asked a little girl, "Does she want milk?" And she he said, "You want to get your cup?" You can see it was rehearsed and rehearsed and rehearsed. She said, "I want hazel cup." I don't want what no cup mean? of milk from a stranger. <laughs> like that's weird. Like who offers anybody milk anyways? Like no, do you he want offered his daughter. Well, she got up. It's a video. 
And this is after he posted this stuff about Hazel and he took it down. He said, Ari, you ready for your milk? And she said, yes. And then she was doing this and she goes, he goes, you want to get your cup? Now the cups are way up here. She goes, I want Hazel's cup. He goes, what did you say? And she looked at him again. I want hate. He goes, oh, you want Hazel's cup? I was like, come on, Tyreek. Playing on the woman's heartstrings. She don't care about her own damn son. Why was she going to care about your daughter? Sorry. No offense. Allegedly. It seemed like she cared about the daughter. I don't know. Okay. I'm not gonna... Okay. Did you see her looking at her hair? Talking about who combed her hair? Because she don't want to do it. She might be very sensitive to that kind of stuff. It might she be like, might be. But don't touch my hair. When you went to the wedding, you could have combed your daughter's hair. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hazel's looking cute. You looking halfway decent. Uh, we're gonna take care of that child first. Your child comes first. If it took you three days to get our hair together and tied it down, oh that's God. what you should have did. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, well no, it's fine. Listen. I'm just listening. I mean, it took them a while to get her in the dress, so <laughs> Maybe they just pick their battles. They're like, she's in yep, the dress. That could be it too. The hair's gonna just be Hazel what it is. wanted nothing to do. You okay? She thought she was a sweet little girl. She said it, but the way she looked at her and the way she was talking, she pointed at her. You know, her name is Ari. And then she's in a confessional, and she says, "Ari is a cute little girl, but I just feel that that because I'm not with my son." But even when you were in the Philippines, you weren't with your son. You got to see him but you weren't with your son and you didn't get to see him that often from what she said. Hmm. I'm only going by what she said. No, I, I, yeah. You might be right. I can co-sign that. Yeah. She did. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Was... Hazel has no interest in children. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I know women that don't have a place to stay. They will do whatever they have to do to put a roof over their kid's head. It was easier for Hazel and the story she gave him about why he's with his dad, then to come to find out that the dad actually has the custody. Hazel doesn't have custody. The dad and the wife, the new wife, has custody of that little boy. Well, I mean, maybe they actually have a normal living situation instead of just jammed in a with in a one bedroom apartment with her mom and dad that weird situation now the apartments aren't that big and uh when i went to japan the apartments aren't that big at all they're i mean you got a whole family living in maybe a one bedroom with a little kitchen a little living room they're living seriously in japan like that it's expensive as hell not thailand though it's cheap and the Philippines, I thought Hazel was from the Philippines, but maybe Thailand. But I know Thailand. No, is no, really Hazel's cheap. from the Philippines. She's from the Philippines. Okay. Minty's from Thailand. Okay. It's really cheap there. I've been there. Really cheap. Thailand is cheap. Uh, but Japan is really expensive to live there. <laughs> now go to Pink Flamingos. Go to Pink Flamingos now. <laughs> <laughs> Natalie, leave me alone. How you feeling? <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> Natalie, leave me alone. <laughs> Is it, I mean, now. Heidi's always I'm got an up. opinion, right? I'm <laughs> shut up. I'm not gonna say it. Wait, so now. like Heidi, do you feel like um maybe Hazel needs more scissoring in her life and then she'll be good? I think she's getting a lot of scissoring. That's why she left our week. <laughs> I, I I'm not sure. I, I think it might be like too little scissoring, if I'm being honest with you. You know, the only time I ever saw a Hazel break character was when there was like a lady person in front of her, and she, you know, she go from like she go from this <laughs> to like, you know, I'm just saying. <laughs> so it was a real attitude changer for sure. It really, it really was. <laughs> oh my so. Gosh. There'll be more Maybe. scissoring tomorrow on the single life. <laughs> Let's watch. Look, look. As the, look, what days of our lives are as the as the world turns with Tyreek and Hazel. Whatever. Let's wait and see what happens. Oh my God, Office Space. Oh my God, her. Oh my God. 
I don't think that means office. Yep, she did. Who is in this room? <laughs> no, I, I think of that suit. from office. Yeah, it was. Oh, oh. <laughs> it was very tiny. So you know. I'm just saying, uh, this whole thing with him putting this stuff out there, he's looking for some kind of episode. He's looking for some type, some type of attention. He wants to bring himself back in the limelight since Dean is now on Pillow Talk and Dean is all over social media. Everybody thinks Dean is funny. They think Dean's baby is cute. His girlfriend, okay. But anyway, you know, I probably give his girlfriend the same rating. So I'll, I'll let Heidi speak. Uh, okay. But okay. that's what he's jealous of. He's not he on pillow talk. Heart. His brother is. His brother is on pillow talk. He's jealous of the fame or, or, or the recognition that Dean is receiving. So now he's going to put this out here. Who knows if Hazel is actually really gone, which I take it she is because of what her bio says now. But who would have known? Nobody's talking about them again. Now we're talking about this sleazeball. I'm sorry. But I, I think, him. I just think that maybe she's not answering her text messages because he's saying, call me. And so the only way to get in contact with her is via social media. He call me because Dwayne is coming here with. so he can help us work this out. So you got your big brother coming in who's lost about 100 pounds. He's coming in. Yes. So uh, 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 he can be the big guns. Cause he gonna wrangle, he gonna wrangle Hazel in. Cause she's not thinking straight. Use your head, Hazel. Really? really? I just don't understand like why like Tariq has not been at a uh, Puff Daddy white party yet. No, 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 no. Not Puff Daddy. Not Puff Daddy. Puff Daddy is not even Virginia Beach. Kanye. He needs Kanye. To, he needs no, no. He needs to be. No, with, Puff Daddy had the white party. Yeah, but not in Virginia Beach. He needs to be with uh with Aaron Hall and them. They all live out on the beach. And the guys from Black Street, uh Teddy oh. Riley has a big old compound right there in, in Virginia Beach. But I you stretch. know, I just don't understand like how someone of Tariq's masterful, you know, just artistry level. Um I, I I it's and he's, you know, and he has, you know, poor Hazel not getting the scissoring that she needs. I mean, it's oh, just. scissoring with the, I mean, with the same sex or with him? Um, well, I think that everybody knows the answer to that in their brains. And. Um, no diggity, no doubt. That's it. So. <laughs> You know, oh my goodness gracious. Oh my god, I'm serious. Think about it, John. Think about the whole picture. Dean is now on a TV screen every week. Every week he's on pillow talk. Just about every episode, there is Dean, his girlfriend. Every week. Even Tim and Veronica. Is Veronica pregnant? I haven't watched Pillow Talk since like the second he's episode. Not with Veronica. He's with, I, I thought he was a different girl. No, no, no. He's not with her, but the, Veronica has a boyfriend, a really good looking boyfriend. She looks pregnant to me when I saw them this past time, uh, this last Sunday. I looked at the episode. She looks pregnant. Even Tim and Veronica, who nobody likes, especially Tim, is on Pillow Talk. <laughs> they have yeah, a it's nice... It's not uh, fun. Like, like, I can't deal with Pillow like, Talk. Like, you know... It just nope. I'll watch if a certain person's on okay. like that week. Yeah. Last season I didn't watch Pillow. I mean, singles. Uh, the single life. I watched Pillow Talk just to see what was going on. That sums it up for me real quick. But I like Pillow Talk. I like when um when when uh oh my God I bought a bra from her. Her and her friend are on Molly. There. Molly, I like when Alex and uh, Lauren uh, is on there. I, I like certain. I do not like when Paul, when Paulo and Ross was on there because they're boring to death. I could not watch them. Um, I did not like when they had. Um, I don't even like Kenny and Amanda on Pillow Talk. To be honest, I don't. Well, don't like them on Pillow Talk. It's just so fake, you know. You know, and Pillow Talk, but they they 
they send clips to people. They they don't watch the full show. I know they that's what like, I like. The they highlights. just give them like a bunch of clips to watch like for the their reaction. So like they'll see like you know they'll get like a bunch of clips and it, they, it'll be like spread out through like a bunch of episodes. Yep. So they're just giving their reactions on like a five minute clip that Ooh. they're watching and like they they haven't watching the whole episode or you know that yes that's true. Hey, Ryan. Uh, John, did you know that that uh, David and Annie and Alex and Lauren are getting their yeah own they got their own spinoffs. Yay, fifty one yeah. and fifty two. There we go. <laughs> so many. Mm -mm. Can't mm -hmm. wait to Apparently, cover that too. Dre I'm waiting for um. So you already know. Oh, the family Chantel. Oh God, I can't. Oh, I, can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I just want to throw something every time Chantel opens her fake ass mouth to talk. Her fake boobs. Her fake hair. Her fake everything. I just want to throw shit at the TV. I can't. Sorry. I can't stand the mother either. I hate the mother. Hate the mother. <laughs> hate the mother. The daddy is a wimp. I'm sorry. <laughs> Well, things are getting a whole lot more said, stupider now. Oh, John. No one. Stephanie. Everybody's out to get $50,000 in 30 days and selling farts in a jar. Yeah. And she almost, yeah. uh, she said that she took too many fiber one bars and she almost fired herself to death. I don't know. It's it's <laughs> crazy. Okay. I mean, I'm, I'm not even making it up. Guys, um, you're hearing it from me now, John. I'm sorry. I am now going on OnlyFans. I'm going oh. to sell pee in a jar with farts. I'm going to do both. I'm oh, do I don't know if you could do the separate liquid. Separate jars, I hope. Separate no, no. Jars. I'm going to do a tinkle um, and a fart in the same jar. Okay. Bottle it up real quick, and I'm selling it. Okay. Well, let's. Uh, we'll get. We'll get you some good wrapping paper for the holidays. Maybe <laughs> like you know. <laughs> Jingle jingle with Heidi. And what's gonna happen is when I get my nails clipped again, I'm gonna take clippings and put in a little thing, like a little bottle, you know, like the paper in uh uh the little paper in the boat that floats. I'm gonna put a little nail clipping in there and I'm gonna sell those too. If they can sell stuff on sister wives that nobody in their right mind would pay that amount of money for, I will start my own damn YouTube, my my own I only fans, and that's what I'm doing. And I might slip a nip once or twice. I'm not sure, but I'm doing well, it. Well, hey, hey. <laughs> All right, so what time is it? We're, we're, we're way over. It's 10 20. Okay. Somehow. I got to pay the mortgage, girl. Thank you. I'll be I'm in Pacific time, though, in two days. I cannot believe it. Two, uh, yeah. I so, know. We'll, You're going right. to be over here. Over yeah, here, West over Coast here. in it. Oh, John, y'all got snow today. Oh, and I, ne I need to check on uh, Julie, too. Um, it's been meetings all day. Uh, I had to take care of some people today, but uh, it's been meetings and meetings and meetings. I didn't get to sleep today in my office. I normally sleep for like an hour and a half. Did you get any scissorings <laughs> today, John? No, I didn't get any scissors. Well, I did cut some stuff with some scissors. I did that. Okay, so just light scissoring then. <laughs> light scissoring. <laughs> okay. All right, so guys, I'm going to end this. Uh, I'll do an after show, which I hope that Maria, I mean, Maria is moving and Heidi. Um, Can I take a bath back. first? How long is it going to be? When are you going to start the after show? You always okay. say you're going to take a bath. I do. Right? I want you to I'm show still dressed to work. I still feel I dirty. You. I, I still you feel dirty. I okay, feel it's dirty. 21. Can I do it for 11, like 40 minutes? 40 minutes. Let me go run sure. my water, get my bubbles oh, going. Oh, shit. We'll see. We'll see what happens when Heidi comes back. I'm going to be on OnlyFans. <laughs> I'm going to be in the bubbles, okay? I'm just yes. letting y'all know. Go find my only Heidi's got to go do some light yet. scissoring now as before the, before <laughs> the next <laughs> live card. I will just be, be doing a lot of scissoring. The show. This I will, will start will... scissoring on December 19th, and I will not start stop scissoring until December 30th. So Whoa. I will be quite busy. <laughs> Whoa. You're going to be very wow. sore. You're going to be sore. Good luck with that one. And they're gonna uh, rub it raw. I like to interview your partner when that's done. And let's oh, see, I don't uh, think you'll be able to talk <laughs> for, for the post game wrap up. Uh, we'll just go that way. So, oh my goodness. All right, we'll see you guys in a little bit. Eleven o'clock. Thank you guys for everything. And um, you. if you think this is weird, 11. wait, wait forty minutes because it's gonna get weirder or stupider.
Um, and good luck to you, uh, Tariq and Hazel, and, uh, Hazel. and your Close scissoring. Up. And um, good luck to you all. Have, Merry Christmas. Happy Merry holidays. Christmas. Happy See you in a few. Bye. Bye. Bye.